October 21st, 1978, the day when my life changed forever. In a way, I grew up in ways I never would have otherwise. But for a few years, it was nothing more than a... And how fast would you say you were going? About 60. I had no idea who I was talking to as I lay there on a bed of some sort with my eyes closed. It sounded like a hospital. The man's voice was now directed to another person as he was now talking in a softer tone. Another voice entered into the conversation. It was my dad. Who was I talking to? A highway patrolman. No, 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 no! Here I was in a hospital emergency room, a hairline fracture to my neck, a concussion, along with many other calamities to my body, and all I could think about was how I just screwed myself. To the best of my recollection, this is what happened. My friend Bob and I had just finished dinner at a Mexican restaurant and were headed to his apartment. We came to a circular downhill freeway on-ramp. I decided I was going to pass Bob. The rest is just speculation based on the scrapes on Bob's ranchero and where I came to rest. Obviously, Bob stopped and came over to me. I was told the doctor and his wife were entering the same on-ramp. They stopped and rushed over. The doctor recognized I had a broken neck and instructed I not be moved. Moments later, an off-duty ambulance came down the same on-ramp and stopped. From the moment I slammed headfirst into the light post, which was in the middle of nowhere, to the time the doctor pulled off the road and cared for me, till the off-duty paramedics pulled up, scooped me off the ground, and whisked me to emergency, was about 30 minutes. That's quite remarkable. Some say I was very lucky. I prefer to give God the glory for the quick response. That night, I sustained a hairline fracture to my neck, a concussion, severe nerve damage to my right eye, broken teeth, and paralysis to my right arm. It would be 18 months before I received the official word that nothing medically could restore the nerves in my arm. And there it is, the lamppost, serving no other purpose than to turn my world upside down, never to return to the way it was before the accident. If only I hadn't hit the lamppost. <sighs> but I did. It is what it is. And now, I had to determine how it will be.